Hello and welcome to some 1987 Daytona. We are in NASCAR Legends and uh, you know, despite it being a super speedway, this combo's pretty fun. I always enjoy the 87 cars um, at super speedway. It's still not my favorite thing in the world, but uh, at least it takes a little bit of finesse, you know, going around the corners and uh, holding your line and stuff. It's you know, you can kind of go all out unless maybe you get a huge run in the draft, but it's not always the best idea, so um, a little bit more fun despite being a super speedway, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. And of course, uh, being a super speedway, crazy high participation even at 10 at night, which is when I'm running this, as soon as I got home from work. It's at 10.30, I believe. Yeah, about 10.30. So I kind of just jumped into it as soon as I got home. Didn't really need to feel feel the need to do any practice because I've done this enough times. So we are going to try to get a good lap or first lap here. I think that's probably going to be the better lap because of tire grip, which actually matters, even though it's Daytona. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes so it's a different lap. breed of <laughs> super speedway racing. It's good fun. Um, still can be wrecky, still get caught up in big ones and all that. But at least it's more engaging than just sitting in a line and waiting to die. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm not going to sit in the back or anything. Because, um, sure, okay, maybe that's safer. But it's just happened too many times to me where I'll sit in the back and then there's a wreck that doesn't bring out a yellow and I check up for it like a, like a good driver and and it doesn't bring out the caution and then I finish almost last because I was safe and checked up for a wreck <laughs> so um, just gonna go for it just gonna drive near the front and whatever happens happens probably only give it one go and uh, you'll be seeing the one go unless I get crashed on lap one or something maybe or maybe even if I do I don't know we'll see actually I guess the second lap is better because uh, I wasn't quite up I was not nearly enough up to speed on the first lap so okay maybe it would have been smarter to go easy on the tires the first lap or something I don't know it's not gonna matter too much I don't like this lap I think is a little bit better I don't know I kind of got a bad run out of four there Oh, we got four, two, just a lot, a little bit better. And, uh, I don't know, we'll be focusing on, I'm well, just keeping in our line, being smart about when to take the runs and when not, and probably backing out of dangerous situations that we will inevitably be put into. You can see that happening. And hopefully we'll have ourselves a fun race, like that, uh, that unofficial race. During week 13, I did. That was uh, this combo, if I remember correctly, and that was pretty good. So, hopefully, official races can be as fun as unofficial races. Imagine that. Watch your speed. All right, and just in case we get green flag stops, I don't even know if that's a thing um, here at Daytona in this car, but just in case, there it is. I uh, kind of just waited until I was straight, and then I started hitting the brakes. Seemed to work just fine. So, not the fastest. I think, the like I said, the way to do it was probably um, be a little easier on the car in the, on the first lap, not to tear the tires off, because 98-97, yeah. um, maybe keep those happy the first lap, and then uh, make sure you're more up to speed when you're heading for the, for the money lap. As they would say, I guess. The hot lap, the money lap, whatever whatever you want to call it. It's uh, only about 45 more seconds before we can get started here. Uh, like I said, participation's good. So we are the number seven, which is nice. Um, my, my rating on ovals fallen just a tiny bit, but it's still like 4,300 or so. So we got some strong, fast drivers in here. I know... Uh, Number three here, Mr. Sean Butler is always pretty good with these cars, and most cars. Um, so I recognize him 
A couple other guys in here as well. Anthony dies in the series a lot. I think Nine's also a viewer of either Nick or Gavin or both. I recognize his name. I think he does like NIS with Nick or something pretty often. Like he ends Not up in the same space. I might be thinking of someone else, so. A couple names I recognize. That's nice. Um, hopefully I don't wreck any of the other people. I think it should be fine though. Uh, ready to go, so that wasn't too long of a wait, thankfully. And uh, I guess we'll have all-time best up just for fun, see how fast we can be. I don't know if it actually counts or not with the uh, draft or whatever. I know it's kind of weird sometimes with a uh, draft and all that. I don't know. Sometimes, it, like, I know it's specifically, like, in the uh, production card challenge, like, it doesn't count your best all-time best laps during the race i think because like you can get draft from other classes or something i don't know why why they do it why they justify it but i've just noticed that all-time best laps don't register even if you beat them I'm not sure what the case is with all that but we'll see if it's counting and then if it's not we'll just switch to session best and take a look at that just something fun to keep an eye on see if we're getting green see Maybe uh, get a good idea of how good the runs are we're getting if we're getting much green all of a sudden. Pardon me when I get a drink of water. I'll do something different. I normally put the mustard on mine. Remember to stay hydrated. Very important. PSA. Yeah, something different. What are they talking about? I'm not listening. I'm sure it's really important. So I guess we qualified 7th the, as the 7, so... That's accurate, I guess. 24 is up there with a nice lap. I think it's probably, even the 24 is probably a decent high rating, though, because lots of people signed up. I don't see any names that, like, scare me or anything, so that's nice. 50 laps, 7th position. We haven't got that data. 50 laps. Is that going to require Follow car number hitting? Zero, I don't six. know. Oh, I think it will. Because it's estimating 36. Yeah, I, th I think we will have to pit if we don't... Um, well, we will have to pit, in general. <laughs> and uh, we might have to do green flag stops. That'd be crazy. I think I would probably go long. I would definitely go as long as the fuel will take me. Because I uh, don't want to get trapped to let down in this series. And uh, I can see people... As soon as they start trying to do green flag pits, maybe spinning it and causing a caution, so. Look, dude, have some fun. So, uh, I'm just gonna. He don't say I stop. Take it to the end of, uh, the fuel run. We got a Dale Earnhardt in front of us, that's always a little scary. <laughs> no offense, I don't know them. Sometimes, people in the, uh, Dale Earnhardt cars get a little bit of a aggressive. You could say they intimidate me, but maybe yep. for the wrong reasons. <laughs> We're getting Rick by the number five, so plenty of interesting things going on. We got like this alternate color cooler scheme in front of us too. That's interesting. Lots of interesting paints going on. Exide over there. That's Exide, right? Or no, it's Exxon. X, X. What is that? I don't know what that is. Stop talking, making my sound myself sound stupid. About to go green. Stay focused. Need to focus on this start anyway. It's all over the pillow, if you're wondering. The launch matters too much on a super speedway, but don't want to get caught okay, sleeping too bad. You're already hard to do your job. Go, go, green go. flag, green flag. Check up a little bit. Still there. Still there. Keep low. Go low. Check up up down here on the bottom lane. Okay. 
I remember in the unofficial race I did on week 13, tires actually really started to matter late in a run, so I want to think about that a little bit. Not just completely dive into the corners if I don't need to, you know? I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind. I'm going to be going like over 214 into the corner, so. Outside. Guy's ready to go, though. He's not holding up for anyone. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. Jeez, I check up and like a million people pass me though, so I don't know if that's... Maybe I'm just hurting myself by taking it easy. Who knows? Trying to keep it low on exit. Don't want to get tight and end up into the side of the guy and... It's causing me to get past. Outside is clear. Far so good though. I kind of miss whenever this car first came out and uh, the super speedway races, everyone would get separated really far. I don't know if that was just because people were learning the car still or what, but I remember like it kind of looked like it did in real, real life. Uh, people would get separated a lot instead of being all clustered together and it was kind of neat. But, uh, I trust that the changes they make are always making it closer to reality. So, you know, maybe people just got better and more confident in driving these things and it ended up, uh... Still there at people ended up more aggressive and stuff. Still there. <clears throat> Getting Clear. tapped here. I need this guy to not wreck me, please. I'm just driving, having a good time. Some high danger, good time. So the era of people died, so we could legitimately die, not just like, oh man, I died. Like I, I hit the walls are like, no, I might actually die in this car. <laughs> You know, if we want to play the role. <laughs> like, this is a uh, pure metal and hatred in, in this vehicle. So far, so good. We are in the top 10 as of now. Now that I kind of got a moment, I'm content with being a little nicer to the car in the corners. I'm not getting just run over from behind. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference, because we're kind of just slinging it through the corners regardless, but... I don't know, maybe I'll be able to stick it at the bottom of the track later in the round a little bit better than some guys. Who knows? It just makes it so much more fun than regular super speedway racing, where there's literally no tire wear, and... It's all just holding a line on the bottom or in the middle, wherever you happen to be. Here you got people moving around. You kind of maybe got to think about things like tire wear just a little bit. And uh, you got to focus a little harder on holding a line. It's not the easiest thing that ever was easy. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't have some, so much problem with super speed racing this car. It's pretty good fun. And, uh, looks like the all-time best is not registering, like I was talking about. Still don't know the reason why it does that, but we'll get session best up here once we get on straight away again. So long as nothing crazy is happening that I need to focus about. Ooh, it almost looked like it was there for a second. Is it normal for the driver's head to keep on twitching? Because I keep on seeing the 24th head come up the, the, like, the window deck. Oh, no. Outside. Oh, that was close. We almost died. Back. That guy thankfully kept it away from us. That was close. Gonna have to see what that looked like later. But that's exactly why I'm not just hanging around in the back. Because look, they all had to check out for that, and now they're they're not in it anymore. Although I, 
I'm almost losing the draft too, actually. So. Every time I hit a bump in the middle of one or two or three and four, his head literally goes out the window to that. It's funny, that guy sounds like he's having a funny graphical glitch. Ugh. This is old bumpy Daytona too, by the way, if you don't see me going off the ramps in the corners. Trying to catch back up to them, but man, they are just so fast in the uh, corners here. Or in the straightaways. Corners. So they're all on top of each other. All I need is one, like, half checkup, and I should be back up there, but... Oh no, Thomas. Out of the race. He's the guy that I'm pretty sure was a Nick viewer, at, at the very least. That stinks. He must have been caught in something related to that guy that hit the wall. I didn't see who it was. Maybe it was him. I don't know. So I'm kind of just trying to catch up to this pack here. Because I'm kind of just barely hanging on. I think we got it, though. I think I've got enough of it. I'm starting to catch up, maybe. Maybe not the worst spot to be in anyway, if I'm going to be... You know, just a, a tick back. If they start wrecking or something. Now we're back. <laughs> we're, we're caught up now. They got side by side. And that helped us catch up. It helped us mustard. So we are here. Behind the Rick Astley car now. Will never give us up. So, we are 11 laps into this thing. Or 10 and a half, I guess. As we are on lap 11. 7.2 gallons. 7.2 gallons, it says we need. Oh, there's the caution. Right when I start thinking about that stuff. I'm going to take right side tires. I'm going to take full fuel. And will we make it? Sorry about uh, getting kind of wiggly there the last few laps, Talon. I had to fix something on my desk. I was trying to do my best with one hand. All good. No, are we gonna make it? Will we be able to make it? Will we get plowed into from behind because these cars do not have very good brakes? And people tend to run into people. <laughs> uh, right sides. Did we do? That done. How's the car feel, Sean? It feels like a car, Sean. So far, so good. <laughs> Two Sean's don't make a right. <laughs> Ten, four. Here we go. Into the pits. Pit lane speed limit is 60 miles per hour. The leader, Butler, is pitting. The pit lane stop again to get in. to the end. Why? Five, Why did we all pit? Why? Three, two, one. Watch as I overshoot here. my pit stall. I do it every time, even though I expect it to happen. You didn't see that, Anthony. That's me trying to. Yeah, I was looking at my tire wear. That's it, go! Trying to not do it, but still doing it by quite a bit. It's just so predictable. Just a heads up. You Didn't know, make much of a difference. Of right so we got right sides. They want you in single 82, 89. 11, got some track position. Some guys I don't think took any tires at all, which I'm not so sure about. Zero point two gallons. We need to conserve fuel, though. Because we are actually not quite there. 
0.2 gallons. 0.2 is pretty close. I've got it set up to give me an extra lap. Catch up, 11, car. But, no need to take chances. Might as well keep the fuel in this thing. Four course yellow, pits are open. Catching up too quick. So we are in fifth now, um, with a little bit of strategy there. I think right side should be good enough. Typically that's good enough in this car, and I, I have to assume it should definitely be good enough at Daytona. The thing that concerns me is that the number three back there, who's very good with this car on super speedways, uh, presumably took four. One to go. Next car's in this lap. That makes me why concerned. Why? Oh, he actually went back in. See, anticipating danger. Why'd you do it, Sean? Interesting. Not sure what's going on there. He might know something I don't. We should have just enough fuel to get us to the I'm end. Put fuel in it. Mummy tomato, daddy tomato, and daughter tomato. I think it should be fine. Around. Daughter tomato got too far behind. Daddy tomato turned around, squished her, and said, "Catch up." This guy telling, he telling jokes. <laughs> what the hell? I'll be here all week. All right, so we're rolling in neutral. Building up some reserve fuel. I think track position is going to be kind of nice. I don't want to be behind the wreck if it happens, for sure. Uh, we got right side tires, which I think will make us a little bit better than the guys that took none. I'm pretty happy with our position right here. We'll see where it takes us. I don't really do this com combo very often anymore with the car in the current state they are. I did a whole bunch of it when the car first came out because I was really enjoying yeah, driving this car when it first came out. Good. And they were pretty much only at super speedways when it first came I keep saying first came out. When it was first on the service, it was like a bunch of super speedways back to back to back. And I did a whole bunch of them. But, uh, the pace car is in. Not in, this, in its current state have I done too much of it. See how the car handles. I'm going to have to watch out for any looseness, given that uh, my right sides are cold and the left sides are not so cold. Think about that. So, uh, we'd like an explanation for that. Or you could just say I'm terrible and just move on. Oh, <laughs> I happened. Yeah, so would I, because I got 4X as well. So they got problems back there, that's why I don't want to be back there. I too just slam into the back of people when the light turns green. Oh my gosh, that's what happened. That stinks. That feels good. I'm gonna drive up here on the ice side, I guess. Inside. Onward outside lane, let's go, go, go! Push! And extra easy because I don't want to end up in the wall. Don't need to push completely hard right now. Especially with uh, Dale Earnhardt on my inside, I feel like it's cursed trying to race with Dale Earnhardt. In turns three and four, Daytona. No! Daytona! Oh no! I can do about that. Sorry, guys. Catch up, sixteen car. Are you okay? Catch up, eleven car. I don't think I'm okay. 
It hurts. It's all right. Honest mistake. That wreck was very Cindy Car esque, if I would say so. <laughs> I actually don't have a meatball flag, so. Might not be the end of us. Uh, hello, we're gonna go all the way around. So let's go! Those cars on the front stretch, the pace cars in the middle of the back stretch. Is this 22 not going? If not, let's go slower. We gotta like drive, guys. We can't like here. I'm gonna help you. We gotta we gotta catch them. Come on, let's go. You going as fast as you can, twenty two. Uh, uh, I assume he's damaged. Let's go, we're almost there, guys. Catch up, twenty two car. We we can see them. There they are. You're fine, Talon. I don't see a scratch on it. I assume it's the 22 damaged. I assume he's going as fast as he can. I'm proud of all of you guys. You did a great job. Woohoo! Oh, condescending, but okay. I mean, I can't go any faster if the guy... I'm waiting on that guy. Hey, let's fix some damage. The good There's thing a is... On it. The good thing is this car is very durable. I Too was durable. You. I was helping. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. So I gotta change tires because I went sliding. Four minutes. Okay. It's gonna stink not having tires anymore, but it is what it is. We should be able to get a lot of this fixed before the pace car comes around, and I guess since we have time, we can take a look at it. Trenches recently? Ouch. <laughs> I, I, locked up, I locked it up. I did everything I could to not cause anyone else any trouble. It's just along for the ride. Well, you know, talent on second look here, I'm gonna level with you. Um, the right side of your car has approximately, I don't know, maybe 12 to 18 inches of paint scrapes right around the rear part of the lumber area towards the right rear tire. And then on the left side, it looks brand new. Oh. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, it's too odd. Appreciate it if you weren't so truthful, maybe lie. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll fabricate something here. Um, Car started. Uh, you're pitting. You're coming in. Pit. No, you got to pit. Or you can run through the grass. That works. He's wrecking trouble for a talent smith. Move it. Move it. <laughs> Come on, Come go. Go. Do a burnout. No balls. There are no more right side tires to put on. <laughs> I almost, I almost three. cut it too close. <laughs> to the lap car. Hopefully we're not too bad. We will not be taking our left side tires. It's fine, you got loads. We're probably good on fuel now. It's pretty broken. Not feeling too bueno. I don't think I can stop again. I think I have to go around and uh, catch up to the field. What? It's not too bad. It could be These worse. These don't drift as well as the ARC cars, do they, Caleb? Poor <laughs> tires. Nice. I guess let's not use up the tires while pacing. Not that I'm going to be using them up as much anyway with my down on power. Of course, maybe I'm not down on power. I don't actually know for sure. Maybe it's just aerodynamic. But uh, we took a pretty hard hit. 
I'm still almost going 200, though. That's bad. Man, we might not be out of this. Green flag, green flag. Right. Green flag. B16. Car inside. Clear inside. Definitely gonna wanna be in this draft to help make up for our damage. Lose that if we can avoid it, but they look like they're driving away. No, don't leave me, please. Okay, in the corners, we can keep up. That's gonna start looking more and more red on the straights. And we're just gonna have to keep an eye ahead in case they decide to wreck some more. Wreck some more. Yeah, I think I just, I gotta push hard in the corners in order to keep up. That's what I gotta do here. So if I lose the draft, too much, then they're gonna drive away. I barely got enough damage fixed on this thing to keep up, I think. Maybe it's gonna cut it close as I did. The, uh, the pit crew was able to, I don't know, patch one little hole <laughs> in the side of the car <laughs> before I got out there. They're doing some crazy stuff up there, though. Guys down by the yellow line. If we get another wreck and uh, I can avoid it, probably come in and get uh, some more damage fixed. Maybe keep up even just a little bit more. Like I said, I don't think, I don't think we're dead. I think we're injured, but not dead. They are getting away a little bit, though. I will need them to crash or something. Just one more time. I'm thinking. A bit of Daytona. <laughs> this guy got in the wall. It was weird. It kind of seemed out of nowhere. The guy that got in the wall, he kind of just twitched, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he was in the wall. I guess he got loose and then uh, overcracked it or something. But uh, we were in the wrong place at the wrong time for that one. But I came in here knowing that's uh, even though the super speedway racing is more fun here, it's still pretty unpredictable, and. Uh, Still got a lot of a lot of uh, luck to do with it, so we were unlucky. The guy that decided to wreck happened to be right in front of us. So now we have an uphill battle to climb. They look like they they might wreck up there though. They're racing pretty close to one another, and uh, we're still only about halfway through this thing. I was getting tighter because I have to full throttle it in the corners in order to keep up. I think that's probably bad on the tires. It's starting to not grip so well in the corners. Which isn't great. We're gonna start falling back more and more. Fuel. 
We need fuel though. Everyone's good on fuel at this point. However. Just uh, kind of just barely hanging on. Probably not much draft left for me to grab. But uh, we get a nice view of the pack. Get a good... I appreciate you making the corner, Jason. Get a good view of it if they decide to wreck. Of course, they can't wait too long because no green white checkers. Ooh, that guy's trying to get it done right now. That was interesting getting loose on the trioval. I'm crashed. Oh my lord. I lifted off there on the entry in order to, uh. <laughs> in order to try to help with the ailing tires. And it got sideways on me. Alright. Good to know. I was obviously behaving a little differently at this point because it's damaged, and so it's a little bit. a little bit weird. So. I learned a little bit about how it's currently handling. Just slowly inching away from us. Keep seeing that blue car all the way down there on the yellow line. Not sure what they're, uh, why they're doing that so much. I don't know if they're, like, per falling back. I can't really tell what their maneuver is. We might end up 15th, which wouldn't be the worst, I guess. Certainly not the best. I'm just glad I'm not the number one. Come on, you stupid jackass. Get out of the way, man. It's just uh, 44.9. <laughs> you want me to get out of the way for you? You're gonna kill someone driving the way you're driving right now. We've got guys that are angry. And a guy on the wall. Hello, goodbye. Hey, maybe we'll finish 14th now. I assume that guy just got on the wall. I didn't see what happened, but I assume he just got too close to the wall. And uh, gave it the old touch of death. Well then, 14th? What the fuck? What? What's happening? They're ready to wreck, so... <laughs> I mean, even if they do wreck late in the race, um, we'll be able to pass the guys that were in the wreck, uh, assuming they were not able to immediately get going, so... There's also that. So we could end up with the top 10 here, if things go right. I mean, things have already gone wrong. But they could go a little bit less wrong for the rest of the race. If we're lucky. <laughs> They're pretty far away, though, at this point. I feel like even if they wreck, some of the guys are probably going to be able to start moving again, and then we won't get those spots. In fact, we're getting caught from behind. Got a guy just three seconds behind now. But I assume doesn't have the same speed deficit that we do. So they're actually going to come catch us, probably. That's a bummer. Just now looked over and saw that. The gap behind has now decreased to 3.0. Caution. Yellow flag. Caution. Single file. Pit road. What do we got? Big damage. Ooh, is this guy coming up on the track in front of me? Alright, gotta wait for this guy now. Did he turn me? Ah, oh, cool. All right, fix the damage. Do I want to take less size? Is that going to just make it tighter? Like, do I want that? That's not how it works, is it? Whatever, take it. 
if you'll need it or I mean, it felt whatever. Like if it looks good, me feel whatever. I got turned real quick. Fix some damage. It looked like he hit the apron and came up, but I don't know. Oh. Oh. I'm done. We're going to so. Cool. There it goes his tire. Love that. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> uh, put that under the oh, pillow. And the tire fairy three. will come give you some quarters. He's still trucking. <laughs> Down a tire. <laughs> Gotta love the new damage model. Well, no, you don't have to, because it's got its own issues, but that was pretty funny. Alright, let's see how, uh, how fast we can get this thing going again. Hopefully we can fix this damage and be more competitive. But we're going to be in better shape than the 6. They look I like... preferred you hadn't gone for it there, Jordan, but same position. I'd probably do the same thing. Get this up, keys and roofs. Watch your speed limit in the pits. We're good. We're good. More hard attack. We've got plenty of fuel. We've got people hitting the cone on entry. Everybody pitted. What am I doing? I'm over here watching other people. I know who's going to pit, so I decided not to pit. Not that doesn't matter. We're fixing the damage anyway. Get our left sides. We'll watch for that pace car. Get a nice drink of water. Yeah, he uh, he got loose, came up, and net coated about six inches through me. Took me out. I don't know how that knocked the wheel off, but whatever. Thank you, pit crew, for handing me the water bottle. <laughs> Probably don't want to cut it so close this time, and nearly uh, go a lap down. But uh, hopefully, with uh, every little bit we got going here, we uh, we'll get a little bit more speed. What's that button for the uh, the dash? Yeah, I don't know how to see you me under caution? my RPMs if they're correct now. Figures, 21 for the figure. I don't understand how I didn't lose any spots, but I just got pissed off. I need to cut it as close this time. Let people the They want you in single file. Okay, one left to gravity. How fast we are now? Wow, the end of the longest line is 10th place. Wait, what did they give you? Speeding? I don't know, maybe I wasn't inside the yellow line or something. And I don't freaking know what I did. I was, I don't know. Someone hit the cone, so someone, I think, got an entry penalty. People were about to wreck coming on, so I, like, swerved. I don't know if I went outside the cone or something. I don't know. Yeah, I probably screwed you there. My bad. I don't have enough time to stop in again. You enter the pit to left of the left cone or right of the right cone, then yes, it will give you a penalty. That's a little bit better. Actually, it's feeling pretty good now compared to what it was. We got a couple more miles an hour. Yeah. It's going to make a difference. I got loose there and hit the cone. Make sure we catch up. Or this thing goes green. Get ready, going green. Half that ten, car. 
Let us 15 car by. Just 15 car. Off. Time to do your green job. Flag. Green flag. Green flag. Pass up 15 car. Couldn't pass the 15 until green, green so I had to maneuver that. We're in 10th. Right job, Devin. Right job. Did you say 7? What did I do? I don't know. He came back up. I don't know, but we need to stay in line and catch that group. Oh, no, got damage seven, sorry. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Yeah, I'll be seeing you. <laughs> car inside. Clear inside. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Oh, uh, we are we're still not up to speed, unfortunately. Inside. Clear. V15. Strickland. I still don't know if that I, maybe that guy didn't say seven. I thought I heard the other guy say seven, like nice job seven or something. I missed what he said. I get like super, I get really bad tunnel vision when I'm racing, and so when people say things to me, I'm like, huh, what? Pretty clueless, oblivious to everything going on that isn't racing. Is what it is. Oh, look, it's pitting. That's weird. Not sure what that's about. They're going three wide for 11th or something. So that's curious. Is that going to work? No. Please don't peel it off the wall and kill me. Thank you. See what happens when you say please, when you're polite. People listen. I really didn't want to check up there because I feel like I'm going to lose this draft now. Why am I not turning? Oh, old tires. That's right. <laughs> Forgot. I didn't get to change them. We're all out of fresh tires. Are they going to wreck again? They're really close next to each other there. This thing sure doesn't want to turn. Pretty spread out now. I think we might be going to the end. Well, if, if, unless this group in front of us has something to say about it, because they've been kind of interesting. But other than that, it looks like a lot of people are spread out. wouldn't be so bad if that's where we end up. We could also get another crash past whoever's uh, too beat up from that. But uh, for being caught in a wreck, being able to pull a 13th wouldn't be all too bad. I'm looking ahead though, they're all pretty spread out for the most part. All single file. We could still get some guys making some ill advised pass attempts as this thing draws to a close. Anything is possible. Like the hardest guy, maybe he almost got the apron there. Ooh, now he's swerving around. Able to get his draft a little bit, maybe. Swerving on the straightaway. <laughs> Interesting. And he's driving like he's got a tire going down.
or Hiroyuki there was a guy that got into the wall at one point, I think. I remember seeing him against the wall. I don't know how it happened. I don't remember which one it was, but I remember he was one of the ones that got into the wall at some point. He's out of it. We've reached the 22, which is curious. Did not expect to do that. Inside. Well, what he's doing, but he's driving all squiggly. I got places to beat, so I will see you later. Nito, got 12. Even more likely that uh, we could get a late wreck, find ourselves in the top 10. But I did not give up. Like I said, though, pretty single file. Might just go to the end. The car in front of us is now Strickland. Keeping it around the bottom, feathering the throttle just a little bit to manage these uh, tight conditions as the tires are older. 22 fell off or something. Started getting uh, a lot of control and all that. It's interesting. I had to pull it away though, so. Not gaining any more spots the normal way. Five. Five to go. Time Five to go! Is that the leader there? I think the leader is farther away than that. I don't know if that's the lead pack I'm seeing. Um, not the one directly in front of us, but the one next. Maybe it is. We only got 11 people in front of us. Unfortunately, we weren't able to fix enough damage to be fast enough, but I don't even know if we got all that optional fixed, if it was going to be perfect again. It's never going to be perfect again, I don't think, but... I was hoping we would be able to be competitive, at least, in the draft, but it was not the case. We got uh, lead changes, though. Things could be heating up up there. That might... I think maybe that is the lead pack up there. So they're fighting hard. They could still crash. We can't do it crossing the line, though, because we're not going to get those spots. That's not going to help us. Taking a look, seeing who is up there. Because we sure are not. That's actually gotten a little better. I think uh, the wear kind of evened out, maybe. So it's not quite so tight. It's just kind of slow er than it already is. Not getting caught from behind by anyone, though, so that's good. Just kind of having ourselves a boring little end of the race. If they're going to wreck, they better do it soon. And again, we're so far back that even if they do wreck, if they get going fast, then we're not even going to get the spots. Which kind of stinks. But they could get the meatball flag, and then I think you have to lose the spot in that case. I don't know. Ninth and tenth switching spots there in that pack ahead of us. They're side by side. Coming to the white flag so they could crash on the white flag lap, and then it wouldn't. Uh, take care of the tire. Take care of the tire. White flag. Any freebies for me? I see some smoke. That's what that's about. 
Anybody want to wreck for me? Someone, come on. Donate your position to those in need. I don't know if they're going to do it. Seeing any crashes? Yep. Uh, sorry, Jordan. I thought I saw a move on Talon there. That's okay. I was rooting for you. All right. Well, they wrecked after the line, but that doesn't hey, help you us. Got me, Anthony. I'm sorry about that contact from the light. Good shit, though. Ooh. Well, twelfth. Not so I'm bad for being in a wreck. Gave a little too big of a bump there. We will park it. This is okay. We just got caught in something I couldn't really do anything about. Sounds like super speedway racing, even if this is more fun, super speedway racing. Not so bad, directly in the middle, because there's 24 people. In fact, the four didn't show up, I guess, so. Yeah, alright, 4x, but it's a long race, so. Probably didn't I didn't do too much. Okay, Talon, it ain't dip, 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 dip. Win, win. The deal, the deal, the deal. Eh, still could've cost you the one, though. Sucks. Close finish, wow. Nah, we're alright. We get a look at that and the uh, crashes. And the incidents. Yoink. Here we go. go. Lap one, it looks like the 16 is getting I mean, the wall. there's not much you could have done there, Talon. I mean, you gave him, you gave him the bump, but you weren't obviously, you were looking low, and then you started to go low, and you had no choice but to go in the back of his bumper. It's just a racing deal. More wall on lap seven. Yeah, just hate almost it crashes. That. Oh, that's the guy that almost got to me. That's right. Yeah, so he comes off the wall, almost kills that guy, in fact, touches him. Almost slides it back into me, but he holds it off us, thank you to him. But the 12 could not avoid him. They tried to go around him instead of checking up more. And, uh, fortunately, things didn't work out so well for everybody. Ooh, they're doing weird things. Oh my good god. They were not interested in slowing down. Oh, that's Thomas. That's what happened to him. Ooh, he just. <laughs> Just couldn't find a way around, around him, I guess. Didn't really slow up too much, and this thing's really hard to maneuver. It's not nimble, with no downforce, essentially, so... Couldn't find a way around him, he just, uh, was directly in his path. So that stinks. But, uh, Skittles. Downed. Like, uh... Isn't there like a bowling offshoot where it's like Skittles? I don't know. I was going to make a joke, but forget about it. 22. Yikes. Spins it and uh, comes back up onto the track. He might not have had an option. I might have shot him back up after he hit the apron right there. But it comes up, hits the 10. Now uh, he's... Uh, Spinning round. You spin me right round. Baby right round. In the middle of the track. That might have been why he was kind of squirrely too when he was in front of us. Later, he says he had damage making that car. Oh my lord. This is what happened to Sean. I can see why he was upset about that. He found his, himself back up there though. Like, what are you doing? What's this guy doing? He's jumping the start. It's pretty ugly. That's all I have to say about that. Can't stop Sean from having a good <laughs> finish, though. I think he still finished good. Yeah, top 10. Better than us. Here's what we got into. Old rust bucket <laughs> in second place. Well, we were in a good spot at one point. Lemon gets loose, 
and just overcorrect so bad. And you know what? It was netcode too. So I don't think I actually even hit him. We would have been fine. We got net coded. Oh, I almost wish I didn't see that. We didn't even actually hit him, but it predicted we did, and that's all that matters. His, uh, his car actually starts straightening out, but too little too late. And two's there to help. You know, head first into the wall. Thank goodness. I decided to be an early adopter of the Hans device. <laughs> and uh, 11. Got it pretty bad. As well as we did. Honest mistake, and I expect it. Running these races, I expect to get crashed anytime I come to Daytona. Or Talladega. Or uh, when they update Atlanta. Or I racing Super Speedway. <laughs> You get it. I expect it, so I'm not gonna be upset about it. It's a bummer. 14 under the wall. What did he do? They do? Ooh, just a little bit of wall on entry. I think it messed up his corner a little bit. He's able to get off of it. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit though, prevent uh, getting on the wall too bad. Okay, this was a crash. I remember hearing about uh, 24 just got loose. This guy was a little bit worried about a higher I rating, even though, or a higher number, even though his I rating is probably still pretty good. But uh, the Dale Earnhardt scheme made me a little bit worried. He got loose there, and uh, uh, it wasn't even that bad. They were just racing so close. And uh, net code made it really bad because. As soon as you're moving like that, with that much momentum, it's gonna predict the hit. The, the hits really hard, and uh, it was hard enough to make that happen. Six get hit by anyone else? So, not too many people caught up in it. I think it's just the two, the two guys, mostly just the six actually. Yes, we saw it. Under caution. Not sure why we're seeing this. Front of the... Oh, this is what happened. To Hiroyuki. He just got put in the wall. I think. Is that what I saw? Yeah. Anthony um, kind of comes up a little bit, I think. That's tough, though. He he had to leave room because the three was kind of... It was kind of like a situation where they're three wide but not. Like, they have to leave room. And so 23 doesn't know that he has to leave all that room down there, I think, is the problem. So, because you're not... I don't think you're getting the call three wide right there. But you still need to leave the room three wide. So that's just hard. That's just a difficult spot to be in. That stinks that that happened to him. Number one... First, what am I doing? Tire's probably hitting 50%. This is one of the Buicks. Cool. That's cool to see. Got it labeled Oldsmobile. That's fun. Sorry, yawning. Oh. I don't know what this is. Probably another tire hitting 50. <laughs> Falling apart. Oh, no. So this is coming to the checkered. What happened here? Oh, the one. He just straight up does what Kyle Larson did. <laughs> pretty much. Uh, Talladega in real life recently. A little bit different results, but he uh, he tries going for a pass when he wasn't quite clear. And uh, ends up turning himself in this case. And, uh, that was your finish. So the one loses a couple spots. 19 comes up and tags the two. And they all wreck after the line, so it doesn't really do much. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, no! Then he comes back up the track. 
Oh my lordy. That was a bad one. And there goes a tire. So long, Space Cowboy. Oh my god, <laughs> and the three out of nowhere. Where did he come flying in from? I think he did it on purpose. I think they might be friends, know each other. He just comes, plows into him. So, that's probably it. Except for the fact it's not. I got someone that's laps down being wrecked for negative 28th place. I don't know what's going on here. Out on the same lap, I don't think. Oh, he gets loose. That's what happens. Got loose in front of him. And uh, that's all that happened there. Before. I don't know, this might be just messing around. Yeah, this is messing around after the chair and seeing if they can get a blow over, I think. But no such luck, as long as as uh, as far as we can see anyway. But uh yeah, a little bit of a battle back from our Daytona moment. <laughs> and uh finish directly in the middle of the field. Probably gonna break even, maybe lose a little bit of I rating. But whatever, doesn't matter. Got some uh, 87 action on today. And uh, unfortunately got taken out of it, but was able to scavenge a little bit, have a decent run. And uh, hopefully it was fun to watch. Literally, almost literally everybody in the field with incidents. You got three people that didn't. And one of them didn't actually show up. They were with a 20 and a 21. They both finished on lead lap, so. All right, that's it. That's all I got for you. Um... Some Daytona that I actually don't absolutely hate, <laughs> even if uh, it kind of hated us today. But thanks for watching. Hope you have a good one, and uh, I will see you next time.